Welcome back to the channel, folks. Today, we got a special treat for you. We are gonna correct a very common problem that every Jeeper runs into when they modify their Jeep. We're gonna make it easy, so stick around. I think you're gonna enjoy this. Welcome back to Jeeping for Beginners, folks. Once again, my name is Josh, and today, me and my daughter Harley are gonna correct a very common problem that most Jeepers find when they modify their Jeep. But first, what are we working on today, Harley? We're working on my mommy's Jeep. It's called Shadow. Nice. It's a 2017 Jeep Wrangler Sport, and to, we are currently running about 35 inch tires on this thing, which is great for the desert, for trails, and for everything we want to attack, but we have noticed that when we're on the road, the speedometer is off by about five to 10 miles an hour, depending upon our speed. So we are gonna correct that. What do you got there, Harley? The Flash Cow Programmer from Super Tips. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is for this to correct that problem. So the Flash Cow Programmer from Super Chips is a relatively inexpensive device that anybody can pick up. You can find it on Quadratech, four-wheel parts, Summit Racing, even Amazon. Uh, I always suggest picking up one of these when you start changing tire sizes or heavily modifying your vehicle. This way, when it pairs to the onboard computer, you can change the settings so the Jeep itself understands what it is that you've changed. It will fix the speedometer, it will correct the shift points, and it'll even change the timing for your lights. Oh. To use this programmer is actually really easy. It's pretty much plug and play. All you gotta do is just plug it in. So go ahead, Harley, plug it in. Okay, hold on. It uses the onboard computer, which is gonna be your OBD2 slot. That is located on almost every Jeep on the left-hand side of the dash, right up underneath. <clears throat> as soon as you plug it in, the device will come to life and it'll automatically start to load. Bring it in, bring it in. All right, so the first screen that comes up simply says press OK to select. So Harley's gonna press OK. And then it says to turn the ignition on. So this is a step-by-step, -step. follow it closely. So Harley, go ahead and turn the ignition on, but don't start the Jeep. There you go. One more, there you go. All right, now that the ignition is on, we're gonna press OK. And then this will say attempting vehicle communications, it's gonna go through a whole process of pairing with your Jeep. Now the Flash Cal programmer from Super Chips is a one vehicle use. Once it establishes connection with the vehicle and programs the VIN, it only works for that Jeep. Now, once it loads, it's gonna show you this screen, which says options, vehicle settings, service options, so forth. We're gonna press the down arrow to vehicle settings we're going to hit OK. And now this gives you everything that you can adjust, change, or control as far as what the computer is allowing you in the Jeep. In our case, we're going to correct the speedometer. So first things first, we need to select what size tires we currently have on the Jeep. So Harley's going to press OK on tire size. This defaults to 31 inch, which is a little bit smaller than factory, but right where Jeep has it programmed. We're gonna hit the up arrow until it says 35. And that is our current size tire. So she's gonna press okay to save the information. And it'll tell you wait as it goes through and reprograms the computer that's in the Jeep. While this process is happening, you may see lights flash or hear dings. Don't let that bother you. It is the computer responding to the programmer you have put in. Next step is to turn the ignition back to the off position. And then we're gonna hit okay. Depending upon the application, this could take up to two minutes for it to finish its programming. A few moments later. Once it finishes its programming, it's gonna ask you to turn the ignition back to the on position. Once again, we turn it on, but do not start the engine. Harley? 
I'm scared. One, two. There you go. One more click. There you go. <coughs> Once that is done, you press OK and move on to the next one. During the process of reprogramming the computer, it is possible the check engine light can come on, so it's automatically going to clear itself out. Now you notice that it brings us right back to the same screen. Now in our case, all we needed to do was adjust the tire size so that the speedometer would be correct. There are multiple other options that you can do, including controlling your daylight running lamps. You could also control your one-touch turn signals. On a Rubicon, it will also determine whether or not you can hit your lockers without having it in four-wheel drive and so forth. But in our case, we accomplished what we needed to accomplish. So we are going to go ahead and start the Jeep. Turn it on. Plugged in. Yep. Go ahead. Start it up. And then we're going to look at the dash, make sure that there are no check engine lights, which there isn't, so we should be all set. So how easy was that? That was actually really easy, Daddy Josh. I told you it would be really simple. So when you adjust the computer to understand what tire size you're running, it's going to correct the speedometer. And naturally, on your automatic transmissions, it's also going to correct your shift points. One of the reasons that it does this is because Chrysler utilizes wheel speed sensors to determine when to shift the transmission, unlike most brands that use pressure in the transmission. So as long as it knows what size tires they are, it knows how fast they're turning, then your transmission's actually going to go back to shifting the way that it's supposed to. Harley, that was easy. So what do you think? I think that every Jeep owner should get one of these as soon as they modify their Jeep. I know, because it was too easy, right? Yeah. So it really is that simple, folks. The Jeep has now been corrected, speedometer is going to be right, and we can go back to enjoying driving the Jeep. In the meantime, thank you so much for joining us here on Jeeping for Beginners. I know my daughter Harley and I really appreciate the support. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe and keep an eye out for the next video that we put up here in just a couple of weeks. So in the meantime, stay safe, happy Jeeping, and we will see you next time. I took, I took a breath. It was, yeah. Stupid wind. All right. Wait, if I do, do you think it'll hear me? Uh, yeah. It'll fix the speedometer. It'll correct the shift. Uh, you were almost on a roll there for a second. Okay. All right, take six. 17. 17. Take 17. Okay. It'll change no. nothing. It'll change <laughs> nothing. Try again. <laughs> I almost had it. I almost had it. Okay.